Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. And you might remember from a couple of videos ago I said that um, I got my snack surprise box the other day and it didn't have everything in it. There was a thing missing. Um, so it did arrive, thankfully, and they, they did respond fairly quickly and they sent me out uh, some additional items, which is nice. They didn't send me out a whole brand new box, which is fair enough, I wouldn't have expected them to. But they did send me out a good bit extra. So what was missing was what I'm going to review for you guys today, which was the gold toffee. So I don't know if you can really see that from this angle, but um, according to the, the leaflet here, you're supposed to get two of those in a box. Um, I'm, I'm guessing there's, there's a picture of two of them. Um, of course, they sent me five, which is decent, you know. Um, and then they also, in the envelope, they stuck one of these in, a wee, a wee flipper. I already had my one from the box, and it's basically like a, a big marshmallow. Um, it's quite nice, actually. A bit chewier, the, chewier than a normal marshmallow. I rather liked it. So it's a quick review of flipper for you. Um, but to make this a double review, actually, just because I've got another item from the box as well, which I I, I know isn't going to, I'm probably not going to like it, but I just wanted to try it just to, on, on video to see what you guys um, would think, because it's, it's a bit of a, a novelty more than a, an actual sweetie. Uh, it's this Skipper's Pipes Original, which I, I believe is just a big thing of licorice with a couple of sprinkles on it. So, um, yeah, we'll give, we'll give that a wee try and see what it's like. But this review is specifically for... The gold toffee. Well, we'll jump into the pipe first. We'll give that a wee try just to see what it's like. So, um, what what is that to actually know? It's, so it's a skipper's pipe, a soft, delicious licorice pipe with pink sprinkles on the end. It's loved by both adults and children. Well, I'll be the judge of that, shall I? Um, like the last one, can't really read you the the ingredients or anything like that because it doesn't. It's got them on here, but it's all in what I'm assuming is Danish. So I can't really go over that, but it gives you a kind of a rough idea. I can sort of figure out the um, nutritional stuff. So it says it on here per 100 grams. I don't know how much this actually is. 17 grams, so you'd have to scale this down quite a lot. Per 100 grams, this is that's about 286 calories. So what's that? Maybe four, 50 calories maybe for this thing. So it's not too bad. I'm probably not going to eat the whole thing. Um, Break it open and have a wee look at it. Oh, that's that's just that is just pure licorice. That's what it smells like anyway. So there we go. Look. Hmm, mm, smoky. Nah, it's not really. But yeah, tastes like licorice. Hmm. I need a I need a a hat. A deer stalker, I think it's called. One of those hats. That, I'm Sherlock Holmes. Let's solve mysteries in our mystery van. Wait, that's Scooby-Doo. Anyway, uh, yeah. So there's a big big black licorice thing with a couple of sprinkles on it. Um, I think that's that seems like more like um, one of those things that you wouldn't buy because you want to eat it as a kid. But you buy it because you want to look cool smoking a pipe. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm a grown-up. I smoke a pipe. Like what, back in the day when you used to get those fake fags, the fake cigarettes. They actually came in like a cigarette packet and everything with the brands and all that on them. But they were like they were like chocolate wrapped in very disgusting edible paper. Uh, they don't sell them anymore, of course. It's pretty much illegal to sell anything like that now. Things have changed a lot since I was a kid. But you used to buy them and you used to go, wah, 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 look at me, I'm smoking, I'm cool. Probably drove, it up. drove quite a lot of kids to actually smoke, so I can understand why it's banned. Um, never worked on me though, I've never smoked in my life. We'll go with that story. Uh, yeah, so it's licorice. Let's, let's give a bite. Nothing on the inside, it is just pure licorice. And then, you yeah, know, the sprinkles are sprinkles. I'm, I assume they just taste like sprinkles. But with licorice on them. Ugh. Ugh. I don't mind a little bit of licorice. Like licorice all sorts where they're wrapped in the sprinkles and you've got some of the sweet stuff on it as well. Don't mind that. Very, very small quantities, but... Ugh, no. Not a big fan of licorice. Not big, great heaping chunks of it anyway. Right, well, let's get to the one that we're all here to see. So this is Gould Toffee. 
A heavenly chocolate covered toffee, first debuted in 1956. This sweet is ideal for a night on the sofa. It's so tasty. Well, sure we'll find out. Yeah, there's no nutritional information or anything at all on these, so I imagine you, I mean, do you buy them individually or do you get them in a packet? Get a big bag of them or, or what? But it sounds similar to something that we used to get as a penny sweet back in the day. So yeah, it's like a big chocolate ball. Chocolate my salty chocolate ball. So yeah, uh, there's the wrapper all unwrapped. Well, there it is there. That's the Gould toffee. Let's give it the old taste test, shall we? Very tough. Mm. Mm. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Mm. If I was to compare it to something, I would compare it to um, Reese, I think it's called Reese. Sort of chocolate squares covered in chocolate. You can buy them as a bar. You can get them in Ikea. Um, yeah, it's very similar to that. Just a proper chewy toffee covered in chocolate. Not good for the teeth. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty though. Mmm. Chocolatey, sweetie, toffee y. Yeah, not much more I can say about that to be honest. It's, it's toffee covered in chocolate. Which um you know, can't argue with that really. Yeah, very nice. Mmm. I'll keep going until it's gone. Well, that'll do it for today. Quick one for you. But, um, yeah, because I can't really go over any of the details about these. I can read you the blurb from the thing. Um, but there's no, it's all in Danish, so I can't really say much more than that. Um, no, they're nothing extraordinary. Um, well, nothing different. They're not really that different from anything I might have had before. It's chocolate covered in, it's toffee covered in chocolate. You know, it's, um, it's going to be nice anyway. So they're nice, but they're, they're, you know, they're nothing new, I wouldn't say. Nothing different from stuff you can get over here anyway. But uh, got to try a little bit of everything to see what uh, see what it's like. I think that'll do it for today, though. Um, that's the last box, the last item I'm going to try from the, the Danish box. Um, Denmark from Snack Surprise. Thank you very much, Snack Surprise, for um, sending me my boxes every month and also, you know, for responding to that really quickly. Big shout out to them, you know, they, they responded fairly quickly and, they, you know, they sent me out stuff and they gave me a little bit extra as well for the for the hassle, which is which is always nice. Because they don't necessarily have to do that and, um, yeah, I'll can keep subscribing and I'll keep reviewing a few of the, the things on here for you guys because it's, um, it's easier than me going out and finding stuff to just have it sent straight to my door, so um, I'll keep doing that anyway. My actual, the, that's from the, the November box, so I'm, I'm I am recording this quite early um, compared to when you'll actually see it. But if you like, um, if you want to get a random selection of snacks, this is by no means sponsored or anything, but I would recommend Snack Surprise. They give you a, a decent amount of stuff and it's, it's reasonably priced, so can't really complain. But my um, my December box has actually arrived already because um, the, the November one was, was late for some reason. Um, I think they said that the quality of the stuff that they got in wasn't good enough, so they decided to get different stuff instead, which is fair enough. If they want to maintain the quality, I can understand that. Uh, Cyberpunk did that. They delayed their uh, um, launch for their game, um, and, and Project Red, I think they're called, delayed the launch of Cyberpunk in order to make sure that the quality of the game was up to scratch. And we all know how that turned out, didn't, don't we? Uh, embarrassing. Anyway, uh, there'll be something from the December box coming up for you guys soon and uh, plenty of more stuff to look forward to. So subscribe, hit the wee bell uh, to get notifications anytime you want to see one of my videos. I upload at least twice a week. Um, sometimes there's extra videos for little specials. I did a Christmas special this year, so I hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, just lots of, of other stuff to do. You'll go on the channel, have yourselves a, a marathon and uh, 
What else do I do? I've got an Instagram, I've got a Facebook, I've got another channel with videos on it that I don't upload there very often. Uh, but I, that'll do it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. I'll see you then.